guys welcome back to Sopnil codes and in this video i am going to show you how you can install a fake json server or we can say the we can say a fake rest api in your computer so that you can use the backend service or to you into your front end application without write, writing a back a single backend code so let's begin so before that i'm let me give you overview that uh, what we are going to build in next uh, few minutes so uh, here is the output basically this this data is coming from that faker sd api and let me show you the data here is the db.json file and here it is a that fake data inside the user's object and that contains the array of that particular object and each object contains name and occupation for that particular user so this is the data that has been shown here so let's begin before that let me just remove this file so that i can uh, explain you in from explain you from scratch and let me remove this as well our afce app okay let me close this terminal let me close react app as well uh, okay i have assumed that you know how to create a react js apps or rather react, react js project so let me start the project npm start here our project is getting started okay project is running okay just refresh the page okay here we have getting app that is coming from here react js server has been started okay let's see whether we have getting that output or not okay we have got that output it means our server is react server is running clearly okay so let's install the fake json server so open google chrome's new tab search for json server npm and click on the first link you get just scroll down here here you will see the command that you need to use in order to sorry here is the command you have to, you have to use in order to install the fake json server just click on it and open terminal so i am just splitting terminal here and I'm just about to paste that copied link here, but we need to use, sorry, we need to install JSON server globally. So I'm just uh, modifying the command a bit. I'm just, in, uh, I'm just adding G flag so that I can install uh, JSON server globally so, globally so that it can be used in any other projects as well. So npm install dash G, which means flag G, JSON dash server and press enter. Here you will see uh, the package is being installed. So we have to wait for uh, for moments, you know, or, or till the package get installed. Okay, my internet is a bit slow. That's why it is taking more time. Okay, it is about to install. Install and. Okay, it has been installed. Okay, now we have to create a uh, a file that contains our JSON data. You can name it anything you want. I'm just uh, naming it db.json and make sure that the file you have uh, created db.json it must be inside a root directory of your project. See here, this is the root directory of my project and db.json is outside all the folders inside the root directory and here you can create a object and name it users make sure you it should make sure it is in double quotes colon and array of array of an objects objects and key and values key value pair name name will be sopnil and occupation is software developer okay and sorry you can copy it copy it multiple times so that the data will be uh, shown multiple times in the browser so let me okay here we done we need to start the json server so in order to start the json server you have to um, enter this command npx json dash server dash dash watch the name of your name of the file that you have created in your react.js projects root directly my file name is db.json so i'm just 
uh, type the name of that file db.json here we will see that my server is running on 1234 port so uh, in your cases your project might be running on 3000 port 3000 so and and by default json server also runs on port 3000 so if you want to change the port i think you need to change that port because uh, two servers cannot be run on same port so in order to change the port uh, you have to add dash dash port and is equal to n let's say 3001 okay from now my json server will uh, run on port 3001 so here you will see our servers server has been started and uh, here we have got one resource that is users so here you will see we have a uh, object that sorry we have an array that's name is a user so here, here it is the resource resource for that i'm just gonna copy it okay and paste it right here so that i can see what the output i get oh see guys here we have got the uh, adjacent response of our array of an object so we can use this as a api endpoint in your reactjs application so let's design the ui okay before that let's install bootstrap so that we we can design it a, a bit more beautiful okay just i'm just gonna add a new terminal and here i'm just uh, typing a, i'm just about to type a command npm install bootstrap okay we have to wait unless and until the package get installed okay here you will see it is uh, about to install mm. due to my low speed network it took some time okay uh, bootstrap package has been installed so let's add bootstrap so import double quote bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot min dot css let's see if the uh, this views font if the font style of this divs content has changed then uh, it it will indicate that we have successfully installed the bootstrap it, it doesn't if it doesn't then uh, there might uh, there might be some problem so let's see let's refresh that okay see the font family has been changed it means bootstrap has been installed successfully so i'm just gonna close this tab and let's design the ui okay first of all i'm just gonna uh, create a react fragment inside that i'm just gonna add uh, the container class that i'm just i mean i'm just going to add a div that has container class so div dot container container if you don't get such a, like i mean uh, such suggestions uh, if you don't get such suggestions uh, then you have to change the language by default uh, in your lab, uh, computer it might have been selected javascript but you have to change it to react javascript or javascript or oh, sorry javascript jsx okay and now you'll and then you will start getting uh, sorry i missed the container spelling misspelled container spelling okay, then you will start getting such image sorry, image uh, suggestions okay inside that view let's add a h heading that Mm, that should be users sorry why am i making so much mistakes so users list and let's see how the ui looks okay here is the it is the here it is the ui so users list and let's make it a bold uh, in order to make it bold bootstrap we have predefined classes in the bootstrap so it's gonna use those classes uh, display three okay and the, to make the font family look bold dash there is a class of w dash bold means font weight bold and i'm just going to uh, make this uh, like make this text into the center so let's for that for that we have to uh, add another class that is text center okay here it is and just below that i'm just going to create a, another div and going to add a row class so that i can use grid system bootstraps grid system in our project so okay we have this far let's uh, create some um, static stuff for example i'm just gonna add the classes to make it uh, look response make it look responsive for that so i'm just gonna add call 12 it will take full width in mobile devices call md6 it will uh, take 50 percent uh, width for each 
ड्यू इन मीडियम डिवाइसिस और लैपटॉप कंप्यूटर्स एंड टैबलेट्स ओके देर इज एस एम क्लास फॉर टैबलेट्स एम डी फॉर डेस्कटॉप्स एंड लैपटॉप स्क्रीन एंड अनदर क्लास एम एक्स ऑटो सो दैट इट विल कीप आवर कार्स इन द मिडल और इट विल जिस गिव इक्वल स्पेसिंग फ्रॉम लाइट सॉरी राइट एंड द लेफ्ट ओके इन साइड दिस डिव आई एम जिस गोना एड अनदर डिव एंड एड अ कार्ड एज अ क्लास एंड हेयर विल सी I'm just gonna add a P. I take name. Name will be Sopnil. Another P for occupation. I mean P. P means paragraph tag. Occupation. Software. Software developer. Let's see. Okay, this is how our card looks. Let's make it. Uh, let's add some shadow and padding. So I'm just in order to add padding, you can use P. Uh, P X P Y. Those classes. Yeah, those have been. Uh, provided by the bootstrap so i'm just gonna add px it will give me horizontal padding and py2 it will give me vertical padding and in order to add the shadow to this card simply add shadow class Sh sorry shadow class okay let's uh, copy this view for one more time so that we'll we will able to see the grid system has been Applied to to the to that sorry to that div, okay. So basically, this is our static data. Let's make an API call using that fake API, so that I can show you how you can fetch the data. So you can use Axios, but I'm just going to I'm just about to use uh, I mean JavaScript's built-in fetch function. You don't have to uh, I mean in order to use fetch function or the fetch API in JavaScript, you don't have to. Install any dependence. Like if you uh, want to use Axios, then you have to install Axios from npm registry. But there is no need to uh, install fetch for using fetch API in your uh, React.js project. So I'm just gonna add um, those fetch function that has been provided by the uh, JavaScript itself. So before that, we have to uh, make a function for making an API call. So I'm just gonna write a command. Making an API call. Okay, I'm just gonna create a function, and I'm going to use ES6 uh, if I add a function uh, syntax. So uh, the function name will be get API data, and it will be a sync function because uh, we have to handle promises in the further code. And I'm just gonna create a variable const API response is equal to await. Because the fetch function returns a promises, and we have to wait unless until the promise get fu gets fulfilled. So in the fetch function, we have to pass the URL that is our API. So the API URL is localhost. I guess localhost three thousand one slash users. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it right here. And and okay, let's see what we uh, get in that API response uh, variable. So I'm just gonna type. Log and if you are using VS Code, just simply type log and press enter, and you will get the full fetched uh, console dot log syntax. That's the beauty of VS Code. I'm just gonna paste API response here, and let's see in the console what we get. Simply right click on the uh, your browser's window and uh, scroll down and listen until you get inspect function inspect. Or you can uh, alternatively click on F2. It will also open the console, or else you can. Uh, Uh, press control shift and c it will also open the console for you okay let's refresh the page oh we have we have to uh, use use effect in order to uh, call this function on pa page load so i'm just gonna uh, add use effect hook okay use effect i'm just gonna click on it so it will give me a code snippet and i'm just gonna add the function here i mean add in admins i'm just going to call the function here Let's see more second here and third as well. Let me keep let uh, let me keep it as it as an empty array. And okay, we need to use use effect so that we can use it. Okay, here it has been uh, imported uh, here. And let me just refresh. Okay, here we got the response, but we are getting a type course and we are not getting the response uh, that we. Expect it fr from it to get okay. So basically, uh, 
fetch function returns a a pair response that is that data is not in a json format so we have to convert that data into the json format so i'm just gonna add a, another variable const json data and it will be await because in order to convert the json data there is a function dot json but that function also returns a promise and we have to handle that that promise by using await keyword so i'm just gonna add api response dot json and let's console the json data instead of api response sorry i just okay paste it right here and let's refresh the page okay guys here you will see we have got the api response from that api so i'm just gonna um, create a state to store the data simply type use state i'm just gonna use use state snippet and i'm just gonna add a state name users set users and i'm just uh, keep it a empty array okay we need to use use state as well so i'm just gonna uh, add comma here and use state okay guys use state has been imported here as well so i'm just gonna uh, set this user so here's a function that has been provided by use state that is set users i'm just gonna paste it right here set users and the data we are going to uh, set into the uh, state uh, use user state is json data and okay we have come this far and i'm just gonna remove this static data and i'm just gonna add map function so that i can iterate over an array that is users array okay i'm just gonna cut it out inside the curly brackets users dot map and here we get the user parameter and let's make it a, a, a let's make it a better function return keyword and parent, parent between parentheses i'm going to add react fragment and inside this i'm just gonna paste it or paste the code that i have been copied a oh, moments ago and instead of static name and occupation i'm just gonna use this uh, dynamic uh, users data here so inside curly bracket user dot name name basically name is coming from okay let me show you my json uh, uh, json data here it is name and occupation these keys sorry these name and uh, okay here this uh, users dot name and occupation are coming from here so i'm just gonna add users dot name user dot name and user dot occupation and let's refresh the page guys okay guys here you will see that uh, data is coming from the api actually i have pasted the same data again and again so that you will see the same name again and again here so i'm just gonna um, change it let's say uh, let's uh, change the name say me and she's a graphic designer graphic sorry graphic designer and armin is a android developer developer is another mikasa ackerman uh, she's a product designer and irene eager sorry irene eager these character names are from one of my favorite anime eager eager uh, my favorite anime attack on titan and he is a uh, Irinigar is, uh, mm, let's say, sorry, Irinigar is web, sorry, web developer, web, web developer. Okay, let's refresh the page and here you will see the dynamic data is coming from that fake API. So I'm just gonna uh, add some vertical margin so that it will create some spa vertical spacing between these cards. So I'm just gonna add EMY and refresh the page sorry here you will see this uh, vertical spacing between the cards so that's all for today guys and you can use that rest api for uh, complete crude, crude operations like create read update delete if you want more videos like on those crude applications just let me know in your sorry in my in the videos comments box so that i can make more videos on that crude so that's all for today if you like the video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much